Okay, here I am doing my best Tony impression. We're gonna play, um, I'm gonna jewel. So, this version I found uh, is running four transmute artifacts, which is something Tony got onto. I was running four copy artifacts. So, you may have an end of the battlefield as a copy. And it's just an interesting card with Coveted Jewel. Uh, being only two mana is kind of insane. The fact you can copy ring for two mana, kind of nuts. Uh, and being only one blue is pretty nuts. Um, we have Displacer Kitten, which also just allows us to essentially pop off with Jewel. You know, you draw three, you, use the, you have this in play, you're just paying two mana, like, it's kind of nutty. Yeah, it just looks really wild. I have board more combo hate, some oof hate, some null rod hate. Um, and we're running a Gauntis Ether Heart. Uh, whenever Gonti's Ether Heart or another artifact enters the battlefield under your control, you get uh, two two. To me, this is probably the same as like Ether Flux Reservoir, uh, but this is kind of hilarious. So you get to take another turn every time you get enough energy. So you play like four artifacts and you get uh, enough energy, and you can also just you're transmuting your artifacts, um, and you're uh, you're blinging your, everything with Displacer, and it's just when an ETB is not cast. So uh, it seems like you could do a lot with. So let's give this busted deck a shot. We are missing Grim Monolith, but we have everything else. So they play, it looks like they play Goblins. I think I'm going to keep it. It's a turn two ring, and then turn three, try to pop off. I could cast Cappy Artifact to make like a Lotus Petal here, but I think we need to save it for Jewel. Like if we draw full land or something, we do Jewel. Uh, if not, no matter what we have, bring. Alice on one or wow, semi spirit guide matron. Okay, let's see if it's her name sticker or for mux. Did you get name sticker? Saga. Uh, the one ring protects us now. Force of will is kind of good. I really don't want to pitch copy artifact. Uh, copy artifact and the one ring should also that counts as a cast. Should count as a cast. Roll the five. The cast it enters as the ring, so. Sure. Another jewel. Oh 
All right, do we try to do our thing? We just try to do our thing. I probably want to keep that. Can I do something like get a Kappa in play and then copy artifact my ring? Because that's probably enough. Or I can just like play another jewel, I guess. We want to just draw a kitten and win the game, right? Try to win the game this turn. Um, there's a Karn. How much is Gonti's thing? Can I Gonti them this turn? Gonti costs six. And then I need to do one, two, three, four, five, six. So I need to have 10 mana. And then three zero mana artifacts. No cat in 25 cards. Pretty annoying. No cat or only one transmute and one copy artifact and 25 cards is kind of wild. Um, I guess we're dueling again. There's another copy artifact. No matter what, we can always copy artifact or I think we're just trying to win though. It's just like... Still no cat. No cat and 31 cards. Is this enough mana to win though? Um, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine mana, so it's not enough. And I think I'm out of jewel currently. I guess I can draw from the one ring. So now I can... God, not finding a cat in 34 cards. Cat just wins the game on the spot, right? I play cat, then play a zero and just blink jewel. Um, and it should be on your screen as well. Um, I just really thought we'd draw cat at some point. So we can just turn this into one extra mana or the key to draw more cards. The two keys in the deck. Four kittens still in the deck. Best thing to do. 
I feel like if we just draw one, win the game. And then we just go like Kappa Cannon here, make it a 20. I, I kind of have to get Kappa out. This is this is turning into dire situation. I have one more recall here, basically. Um. Let me see. All right, there's the cat. Okay, that should that should be straight up. Now I probably won't even uh draw any more cards to be honest. Um, and then we'll play the Kappa Cannon here. Then we'll play a Chromax. This is kind of insane. Energy, baby. Energy is so busted. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is this is what we're here for. Uh Take an extra turn. Now whenever you cast it, you do double. Pass here, got seven cards in hand. Skip the full. Oh, is this like exile itself? Oh, uh, that's annoying. So much fun we lost.
I think we want worm coils. I think worm coils are pretty huge. Um. So they have Thorn of Amethyst, Null Rod, Chalice. So I don't, we don't need Dismember. I like the Master Cores and the Worm Coils. Dismembers are okay because they stop name sticker goblins, so we probably want them. Maybe we want this over um Force Will. Like is Dismember better than Force Will? Maybe not. But they have cavern, it'll look like it is. Cut some zeros. Um Got some transmutes. Got some jewels versus a deck that's going to be attacking us a ton. I, here I like copy a lot more than transmute, actually. Copy can just copy the Wormcoil engines for two mana once they're in play. How many blue cards is that for four? This doesn't feel right, but we'll, we'll submit it so we don't run out of time. Give it a shot. Okay. <laughs> we do have four blue card, but uh no Oof. I think I'm gonna keep I'll probably have to get rid of this member. Al zero, we lose. Smart. Smart. Ancient Tomb and we're fine. Ancient oh, just kidding. Just kidding. They had they mold the four and they, they hit the nuts. Let's just get this into play, I think. Well, we would have had a turn one worm coil too. I mean, we had seven with no lands and six with no lands, so. So there four was Ancient Tomb, Chalice, Null Rod, Unknown. This is one of the ways we could win. I should have played Manifold Key there. My bad. 100% correct to play Manifold Key and make our contracts a little bigger. Alien? We're just going to pass here. With a top deck. Oh my god, what an insane top deck, huh? <laughs> what a absolutely mad top deck. Now we need to draw non saga lands. very much i guess it does if we draw island we just copy artifact or construct which is kind of if we draw island we just get to start copy artifact or construct so it's pretty sick actually that's like kind of bananas what are they thinking so long about
What has been in their hand that this is their line? Meltdown for X is zero. And the non Saga land. Yeah, we, we need like exactly running land. Into the Argenta Master Core. It's not looking good for the home team. Yeah, like these worm crawls are what you need like on the play, just slam a worm coil and win the game. So we have exactly one more draw step, because we'll be at eight, go to four, this, and then we can if we draw island. We need like island on soccer. Uh, they drew the perfects. We didn't. Oh, we were stone dead. Okay. Um. I do think I want the forces. Let's bring in some more blue. Or should this be force negation? A yeah, blue blue is going to be hard. Right, if that comes. Let's get something. I really don't like this. I don't like this either, but we'll just have to keep it. Put back transmute. We can put back transmute and saga. Um, give a key. Let's put back K. This gives us the most mana if we do get Blood Moon, and it does give us, if they don't have Blood Moon, we're in a good spot. And they're mulling the four, hopefully for like a Null Rods. We could just fade the Blood Moon. But it, we we have to like looking at their list. They have three blood moons and they have three thorns, one null rod, one yeah. like they have a lot more of the other hate. Kind of wish I kept my hate, huh? Maybe this one for Turbo Muxus this game. Oh, they have a mage. So obviously they have. Their mulligan was for a magus this game. Super unfortunate. Wow, what a mulligan. Like, it's so sick how their hand, like, last game this draw would have won. And this game, last hands game would have won. Like their hate was just the opposite of what we had both times. It's pretty unlucky. <laughs> pretty unlucky. The no chalice, no null rod hand. And like, like here I could cast all my worm coils. Yeah, just like, this is like a sort of a die roll lose. Like be like die roll in the, they just keep drawing the perfects. So sick. That's why this deck is good. I roll. Cards busted, right? Like, either draw a ring into something. I 
Okay. See if we have one shot, we do have a force to stop a null rod or something. Meltdown. Mox it. Is this worth forcing? I don't think there's any goblins that win this turn. I kind of want this displacer. They reveal pyrokinesis, chalice, chalice, and. Okay. So we can win here. We drew the ring when we needed it. Wow, Cat's going to be like an MVP here, huh? Can I do a worm quill and a ring? I guess I should start with ring. Okay, let me just pass here. Wow, cat so busted, holy moly. I can give this unblockable. Oh my gosh. Just get in for six here, unblockable. Again, the master core is a great one. It's essentially like infinite mana, right? Once that's in play. World of Lily, what's up? Yeah, that kitten makes
Uh, and I, now I just gotta get to the the Karn, basically. I can just play another Worm Quill in a ring, I guess. Throw a couple more, I guess. All right, there's there's just the easy the easy win, no thought. Dude, I can't believe like, I needed to top deck the one ring, and I did after they like had a pretty insane hand. Yeah, I know the name sticker, name sticker goblin is just it's too good with the broadside. You know, it's just it's just so much of a buff. Um, I guess we could just play master core. I just need to remember to play a ring. All right, I mean, I could just blink ring because I'm going to take another turn. Dude, have you seen Gonti's uh, Aetherheart ever been activated? Okay, and then I'll just play a ring because I can. Opponent should have just valued their time a little. Mm. Right, so we have another turn. Nothing really matters. I have mana floating. We'll we'll let it fade. And I think we'll discard coveted jewel. One, two, three. Ha <laughs> Ah. Um. This is just a little too slow. If I had like a monolith. This is a pretty easy keep. What, they, what does this person play? They play like Delver, right? They, they play like oh, they played something pretty pretty spicy. Name sticker goblin in a fucking sneak attack. Fuck name sticker goblin. I kind of want to keep this. But they show and tell, like we can, we can win. Oh, it's just so, it's so close to keeping. All right, this ends. This is this is if keep. Um, I think we just bought them. Tap a cannon. They have Emrakul, so the second wondering might not matter if they show and tell and they get the cap in. That might be able to win the game. Uh, oh, hey, uh, uh, no, I just saw your, uh, no, can I blink creatures? I'm pretty sure it blinks any non-land permanent. Yeah, any non-land permanent, yep. So, next turn, drop a one ring, hope it resolves, get, we can pop pedal if it's worth two cards to us. We can play around days. Uh, 
I bottomed the ring. I brainstorming in response to that makes me happy. I don't think I'm gonna pop the uh this to draw two cards this turn. I think we'll just wait till next turn. Try to draw a lot of cards, not using the battle if Unless this is like I don't know what this could be. Well, and I can also just, if they go to do a show-and-tell or something, I can pedal to draw two to try to find force. I do have a blue card. Under? Oh, that's good for us. All right. One, not one damage. Transmute artifact, you see. I feel like they're F6 right now, which is making me want to do some silly stuff. Because uh, I want to transmute the ring. I want to draw more. Fucking go, huh? Um, blue. Wait, ah, fuck. I should have just played the one jewel first. My bad. And I don't think it'll matter, but. We can also just make sure we have like a bunch of forces. Right, there's the kitten, but I'm actually oh, but I drew copy artifact. Okay, copy artifact should get us there. This copy artifact, yeah, right, that should be him. Nice show and tell the opponent. Actually, that was a pretty bad. All right. <sighs> um, if it's a deck, I think they're on. They're on. They run Defense Grid, Mages of the Moon, and Meltdown. Um, no chalices, which is good. I don't know if we want Worm Quill engines. I think we do. You can make an argument for our Genta Magic Core because they could show and tell it in and then you could discard something. Or we could just go in all on counter magic, but again, they may bring in defense grids, but defense grids mean they can't counter our stuff, so it's it's kind of a, a tough one. So let's see what makes the most sense. Um this place for kitten just been so crazy. Uh let's look at our blue count of the cards I don't want to cut. Uh the Kappa can be mean. I don't mind it being mean. It's a threat, and you can pitch the forest. It's probably fine. Um, you want all our forces. We want all the kittens. All the flusters. We want the copy artifacts. Copy artifact has just been godly. Um, so if we want the minimum twenty cards, we can only cut three transmutes. The one ring, while it was really good there, isn't typically that great. I don't mind siding one out. We can always wish for it. We can cut like one jewel. Jewel's pretty slow. Or something like this. Okay. The old, I have absolutely nothing easy mullet. They kept seven, terrible. 
Uh, yes, this would be a, a keeperoo from us. Um. Close to putting back the island. There's this force blue card, forest blue card, and we have a lot of colorless mana. Copy artifact isn't that good early. You need it later when you're sort of chaining things. If they force this, they force the key. Do we force back? They're brainstorming. They're really thinking about this. Um, I'm not honestly loving it. I really wish Triumph was online. Um, and there were I, like uh, me. I'm always down to ban something. Like I, I just hate name sticker goblin. The, you know, in the gameplay it generates. Like, Broadside Bombardier is such a buff to the deck already. You know what I mean? It's not like the deck dies. Um, am I forcing back here? I have a kitten. The kitten will require some work. I think I'm going to keep my double forces. Yeah, I mean, like, I think Broadside gave it enough of a buff. You know, the deck's not dead. Like, I don't want to kill a deck, but, like, I just think name stickers kind of. I'd also been like comet, <laughs> take the card. Like I, I think I infinity or whatever that fucking set was. Just I just like I just don't think the card should be. And I'd ban initiative as a mechanic. All right, do we do have double force? Not a great spot to be in, but they're taking ancient tomb damage to cycle their lorry. So they'll have five cards. One's a Valk, so four knowns. So what could they have? Like sneak attack, force backup. Go and tell Mages of the Moon. I th Ooh, do I let Mages of the Moon resolve? Or this is Meltdown for Exodus 2. I definitely just let it go. Is it, I mean, I, I need a miracle already. You know, we can buy time. Yeah, I think Bombardier is like a very good card, but I, I think that it's like fine. I think if you ban name sticker, it's fine. You know, it's not I, like it's cool. Like you're not going like matron into like, you know, name sticker. Worst case, you're like matron into fucking Bombardier for six, you know, and then do five damage. It's just... All right. So an absolute that maybe I'm supposed to force the force on my key, but then they had meltdown. I would have had the force. See, if I force the key, then I had to force the meltdown. I have no forces versus showing hell deck, which feels pretty bad. I would love some land though. I am regretting not. I only have 20 blue cards, and we happen to draw five consecutive blue cards. So that's the reason I kept copy artifact over island, because like these are harder to come by. But... Oh, there's a hard cast Lorian. I was gonna have to move the discard, so I think that's okay. And they had to use a pedal, so that's a two for two. Okay. I was like, another Lori in here would be pretty annoying. Saga would have been good at any point, huh? <laughs> Saga would have been lovely. Make two threats, get a Chromox for a blue source. Pretty great. Yeah, I'm not drawing a land yet. Would love some more forces. Only four left. No, actually, I actually think I board in three fonts. Duel, not what we need. Drop a Mox Opal so we don't go to discard. The next turn I can make it, let's see, I can make a Construct. I'll have one, two, three, four, get a Petal, five mana. 
Uh, I can play a Kappa Cannoneer next turn. It does get Pyroblast. I don't know how many Pyroblast they left. First side it in. Fetching an upkeep. What could this mean? Grave? What do I want to do here? I could try to slam Jewel or make a construct. I think I'm going to make a. Okay. Romox is for Lotus Petal. Now they could have second meltdown plus like force backup. Brotherhood end. And that Lotus Petal will actually mean the Flusterstorm can win. Oh, that's frustrating. I guess I should have went. Yeah, they have the pyroblast. Yeah. I guess I should have went for the jewel. So frustrating. What's up, whispers? Oh my god, one turn away. Where were you, Fawn? The game winning Fawn, one card away. Now I can get that one ring I put in the board. Really nothing else. Like the, the jewel the sideboard is not meant to really like go off like Oh man, I wish I could do something with this ancient tomb. Next turn the ancient tombs are not gonna do shit for me. Yeah, none of the things exiled are artifacts that I could get. I can I can actually maybe almost next turn I can just animate my my one ring and attack. It's a two turn clock. I might just be animating my my one ring. It would make them only have one tomb available. Huh. I'm gonna take one here. Yeah, I'm not. I think I just have to animate my. So what I would do here is that I'm gonna force pitching displacer kitten, and if show and tell resolves, put in a kappa cannon here and make it unblockable for next turn. I mean, if they have like sneak and like sneak attack, I'm fucked no matter what. So that was. It took them a little while to make this decision. So if that's exactly what it is, I'd be a little used. It's omniscience. Do they really like not snap show and tell power blast backup with omniscience? What? Let's go, baby. Two oh two.
Uh, goblin nerd. He's on wastelands. Yeah, he's on wastelands, but Bohemia sixty nine. What's up? They are three. Uh, all right, they're just going on cavern. Okay, cool. Perfect. Do I force vile? I want. I, I'm not going to force any creatures, but I just want both the blue cards, so I don't think. Looking for that blue mana. See if they just go for the old Portaroo here. Maybe this is why I should force it, but then I didn't know I was gonna draw like blue blue card blue card. I don't have metal craft. How awkward. Damn, just bricked on like the pedal through the opal. I think I have to do this and just pass. I think I want to play a city next turn. If they go waste port, I want two mana. Yeah, of course they have it. Uh, Prospector. Uh, dude, you got to file for comp. But that's the only argument is that like you just happen to not draw blue mana for ten turns. All right, he's in the in the tank here. Ancient Tomb, okay. <clears throat> they got a Battle Cry as Goblin in Pet. Interesting choice. All right. All right.
See if they have the Natty Munitions Expert versus my Displacer Kitten. We'll roll the munition expert. All right, just to save time. Okay. Oh, do they have twin shot sniper? Do you want to wipe their board to twin shot sniper it? Okay. Sure. Sure. Um. So I can just play another ring here. No, I, I what the fuck am I talking? Do a coveted jewel. You just try to pop off here. I definitely want to just. There's the kitten. Kitten GG. Holy shit, this deck is fucking insane. Deck is fucking insane. All right, how are we actually going to win? Well, I guess we just get Karn Lattice. Um, cast a jewel to untap my jewel. No Karn. Kind of annoying. Um... Is it like a Kappa or a Karn? No Kappa, no Karn. There's the Kappa. Um. Just play a ring, I guess. Oh, yeah, I could just copy uh, artifact kappa. Yeah, let's do that. Do that next. Save time. Uh, I guess I'll just make.
Just have like three Kappas. I think I targeted one of them. Sub high start. Yeah, he's trying to play fair. I really don't want to blink anything. <laughs> I guess I should just be blinking artifacts. Just to get more triggers. And we have ring protection, so... Don't want to draw any more cards, though. And we probably just pass. I guess I could just run out the free artifacts. I guess I could technically just be drawing one each time to try to find the Karn for like next turn. Karn? Other four stars. All right, let's just run out. Uh, that's probably enough. I'm gonna imagine this is enough. I don't want to time out. So we'll I met I, I we could do more here, but let's just have six a day. Right, I don't have any more copy artifacts. Copy artifact, copy artifact, copy artifact. That's I have no more copy artifacts in hand, right? Okay. We'll just pass the old turn here. And then we have protection on land. They'll probably just discard like. Leave one zero drop if we want it. The fuck? I more all right All right, that felt awesome. Um, where is his? He's on the final version. Does have what? A lot less than the last opponent. Two Blasts, two Chalice, one Blood Moon, one Magus the Moon, one Ivory Trap. Bunch of bullshit. Um, so what are we going to cut? Uh, I do like cutting Jewels versus the deck that's going to attack you a bunch. Which means that we cut Kitten. Kitten and Jewel is sort of the thing. We definitely just want to copy and transmute into Worm Coil Engine. Or, or 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 this both great. Um, let's see, cutting some zeros for the child some zero. Um, 
nervous to cut blue cards. We only have 18 blue cards. Not particularly a large amount of blue cards. We just have to trim the displacer kitten. I believe maybe one of the board to wish were. Worm crawls his hunt main. Okay. Let's just try to get a turn one worm quail. Um, an ancient tomb away from having a, a good hand. Force blue card, ancient tomb this, put back pedal. Okay. This could allow us to top deck worm quill and have force backup, so I'm gonna keep it. I'd rather the second land drop over the lotus pedal. You fucking guy. Always the, <laughs> has the third one. Dismember. Copy artifact, unfortunately. I guess I have to hope they don't have like Muxus, I guess. Yeah, what could it be? Like, we need to do like a ring. A ring would have been fucking comically good there. I hate this fucking car. <laughs> That's stupid. Broadside, and they get the Matron for. Alright, Mindbreak Trap, is, they only run one, and it just got shuffled, so. We have one turn to draw something. One turn to draw a bomb. How about double copy artifacts with no artifacts you want to copy? Okay. Ah, no! We're quite legend! One, two, three, four, five, down to four, seven. Oh my god, we actually could have played double worm coil. Ah, uh, feels bad, feels bad. All right, let's just win on the play. Yeah, we wanted just to draw, like, we had a lot of outs. We had four one rings, three dismembers, like, for the first draw step, and the second draw step, the one rings, uh, the worm coil engine. So. Transmute Artifact with only one blue. I'm gonna keep... Like, Worm Coil Engine's good. Like, if you look at the, the number of cards that are good here, let's see. Let's do the math. We wouldn't mind drawing... Let's see, let's see if this decision was right or not. I, I should have checked before. I, uh... So there's 53 cards left in our deck. Uh, and the next draw step... How many cards are... Good. So we have... So three worm coils, the one jewel, that's four. Uh, any blue source, one, two, th one, two, because I cut one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's ten blue sources, that's fourteen. The one rings, eighteen. The car, nineteen. The master core, twenty. So that's about like a 20 outer, right? Four sagas. Four sagas are good. Um, anything else good? Kappa, I guess. 
Yeah, it's like a fifty percent. I like that we have an answer for Lackey as well, which is not to be understated. Eight costs. Oh, Chalice on zero now. Sure. I guess if they have Chalice on one, that shuts off a lot of our outs. I would have thought of that. Okay, that actually doesn't do anything really right now. It can do a lot if we draw like a one ring or something. We do have the blue source. A painful dismember. No play turn one or two. Probably sandbag and cavern. If they go name sticker, we will have to dismember it. Yep, slow roll the cavern as expected. Losing a lot of coin flips here. So did I draw another chalice? Or did they forget to use this for got Cavern Man? Change your mind. Bombardier. Okay. Um, don't want to kill this right now. I don't think so. I don't think we know. Love our rings, love our cards, love the one jewel even. Oh man, losing all the coin flips right now. Just missing all the cards we want to be drawing. They have six cards in hand. The fuck is going on over there? Oh, uh, I wonder if they're holding up a uh, Pyroblast. Could be that they don't want to tap out a Pyroblast. Blinging. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna sack this. Do two instead of one. Am I dead? Throws for six, right? I guess it shuts off my death member. Yeah, I was supposed to do that beforehand. Yeah, just really unlucky. Like, kept the hand basing. We draw like a jewel, a one ring, a worm coil engine, a car, and a capricorn near a saga. Um, a blue source. So I think our our keep was fine. That's we we had five draw steps for five coin flips and just missed them all. Kind of impressive, if we're being honest. Kind of impressive. 
Kind of an impressive way to lose. Probably have like slingshot in hand also. Now I have to draw like exactly one ring. Is that enough? Is that enough? Oh man, the one that lets me pretend I have a shot. Alright. Buying us time, I guess. But I can't attack. If I, how much mana do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 3. If I draw another Worm Coil, I can play it. How anticlimactic. Oh my god, the dismember. Uh would have been able to attack, untap, dismember this. We actually had a game. Damn. Just I drew so badly. Oh, untap untap that with key. So But it would have cost me I would have been at two life again. Right, I still died. I still died of this. I mean, I think it's a, uh, but no, it's the same, right? How does it cost two life? It costs. Oh, it's one man. I'm thinking about unblockable. My mind was on unblockable. So yeah, one hundred percent punt. Yeah, no, no, no I, I, my mind was on the, uh, the unblockable. Yeah, no, no, no that, that, that's why I was thinking about the three. No, for the for one hundred percent. Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, no, that was. Yeah, definitely just attack and untap it for sure. For sure. Okay, on me. 100% of punt. 100 Drew really bad, but also punted. Hands like one mana off. You can play a ring next turn with no. Play a ring next turn? That's. that's Wow. Now after the punt, I'm gonna mulg into oblivion. What the fuck? The mulg into four. Brutal. Brutal mulg.
gonna be like a Delver deck, and I'm just gonna die on my Moldafor. That's Reanimator, blue Reanimator. All right, Ancient Tomb off the top because they're playing Reanimator, please. I haven't. Oh, it's like oh, that's cool. That's not cool. Master of Death with a uh, careful study, grief, Hogak. I think I have to run the Monolith out because this lets me next turn play a four. They have days also. It'd be such a beating. I would scoop if I didn't want to see more of their deck. But they're forcing pitching crab. Sure. So they have force and grief. That's gonna be tough. It's gonna be a toughie. Found their second land. Am I dead? Pitching master of death to take my copy artifact. Okay. And the Natty second bow mask. Uh, but, like that's that's literally the nuts, huh? Because like the grief puts another in the graveyard. This gives two creatures to the crew. Damn, talk about a little nutty nut. All right, we got to draw the nutty nuts ourselves. So we got to hit uh the old one ring. There's a three of, no big deal. Just kidding, it is a big deal. Yeah, Grief vs. Force is going to be tough. I think we probably want Well Engines. Don't know if we want Forces. Like, what are you forcing? Uh, they could probably even bring in, like, Collector Oofs and stuff. Yeah, you probably want these. Terrors at night. I'm going to have night terrors about punting versus Goblin Lackey. Pretty rough if they have Vigor. I mean, if they have Vigor, Grief, Force Will... Try to make some constructs. I actually thought about using both pedals for that, but it seemed like a little spot. Like, oh my god, and they have a wasteland. Of course they do. Don't see it last game. It's playing this game. Cracks. And Force of Will! Oh my god, the opponent! The Grief Wasteland Force Hand. Ugh. Um, I really don't think I want to transmute here, right? I'm going to sandbag it for a turn. Dude. The fuck? Not using it? Crazy. 
Um, am I supposed to kill Hedron Crab? I don't think I am. Uh, kill like a Bowmaster. Blood gas, huh? Uh, do I kill it now? Maybe now because that lets them find more blood gas and then they can play in Hogak now that I know they have no cards in hand. I think I have one more trigger here. Just need them not to hit a Hogak here. Which you all know what that means. Am I supposed to kill this just so they can't play a Hogak? So stone dead then to uh Master or an oof. Maybe I have to kill this in response. They just get it back, though, right? <laughs> Yo. Dying here. <laughs> I'm dying. Side to upkeep wasteland. Uh, I should have floated man. I guess. Oh, like this is why we saved the dismember. That we knew they would draw that exactly. Two, three, four, five, six. I dismember, I lose. Cool. No grim monolith, but we'll take it. Of course, it's a uh, oh, it's show and tell. Show and tell leading with ancient gem for the makes sense. Yeah, with with turn two show and tell. Yep. Dope, dope, dope. Got their tracks there. They got the win. The omniscience and the attracts. Bro, where are these? Where are these hands for me? Where are they? Where are the turn to show and tell omniscience attracts a force blue card hand? I can't have them in this deck. Uh, all the blue cards. For this. No counter magic and no bomb. The be the biggest appeal of this is uh, turn one saga. No mana. Man, I've been rolling like crazy. All right. Definitely keeping bottom pedal and island. So we have a ton of mana, a force, and a blue card, and we could turn this into island if we need it. Uh, seems pretty reasonable.
Yeah, so let's pass here. And again, if they like, if they mold the five. Did I cycle for blue card? No. If I draw another force, I want the blue card. All right. They yeah, again show and tell double force. Just fucking. That's why I didn't, uh, pitch cast. That is exactly why I didn't pitch cast, because I knew that they had another force. They had the omniscience, too. At least made them get rid of that. But they got show and tell Lotus Petal land. Wait, what? They could have just went Ancient Tomb, Lotus Petal, Show and Tell Omniscience, Grizzlebrand. Wow. Um. Hold on. I can displace her kitten.
Wow. Crazy to get that win. Like, actually fucking crazy to get that win there. But they punted because they just... Right? They literally put... They have Angel Tomb, Lotus Petal, Show and Tell, Omniscience, Grizzlebrand, Artifact, Land, Sorcery, Enchantment. They literally hit the dream. <laughs> They're like they hit they hit they hit the perfect. So cool for us, I guess. Kappa Cannoneer has been so fucking good. The Kappa Cannoneer has just been MVP. Maybe you want to cut Karn, honestly. Like another blue card. Is that gonna be twenty blue cards? Um, no force or blue card. No, the turn one ring would involve me drawing a blood sword. <laughs> Bottom. Bro, don't do it. Don't you fucking do it. I was like... <laughs> Turn one Eureka or turn one show and tell Veil backup or some shit. Just saying go. What was their seven? Okay, I have a question here. I actually can put in two Kappa Cannoneers, but I have to fight over this, right? I have to fight at least one time. Worst pitching force. I can go Kappa Kappa, right? Like Eureka you can because they they do enter one at a time. They should see that enter, I think. There's like 10, I have to. So, I think we have to counter pitching Kappa Cannoneer in four. So your goal is to draw something that Copy Artifact works for. They have Spirit Guide Veil. Force blue card spirit guide veil. Omniscience and Atraxa. Or Emrakul. Yo, like what the fuck do you do versus these people? What do you ever do versus Lotus Petal, Lotus Petal, H Tomb, Eureka? Forest, blue card, spirit guide, veil, omniscience, and Wait, cool. what, what do you ever do? Uh, the deck was really sweet. Uh, you know, I, I punted one loss, and the other two felt real bad. Um, but deck was sweet. Uh, displacer kitten, just like the way to pop off. You can pop off so so easily with the deck. Yeah, I mean, there's there's no decisions that mattered. So, like, we mold to double force. I just think that was our one decision, and it matters. Uh, but the deck is deck's really cool. Um, I like the worm crawls on the board and the dismembers. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll play more with this. I'd slap, I'd slap this around. Do I want to play some more games with this? I was gonna switch to beans.
Uh, actually, you know what? I might call it. My wife, uh, she's not much pregnant. Her back's hurting, so I think I'm just going to go give her a massage. Um, so, uh, overall, I was very happy. I will probably play this again. The copy artifact idea is awesome. The trick, like, I wonder if you just don't, like, I don't know. I felt like we just didn't draw action so often. And it was just, like, crazy with, like, the amount, like, the thing is, copyright, this is an action, unfortunately. So your action spells are, like, you know, these, these 12. Um, and it has the blue count for Chrome Mox. We actually never had a problem imprinting for Chrome Mox with 17. A little low on the blue cards. 18, 18. A little low on blue cards, but it wasn't. 